Broken Eden is back. A whole new season has just begun on my community, Imperion Galactic Survival Server, running Reforged Eden. This will likely be the last Reforged Eden 1 series that we do on the Broken Eden server. So if you'd like to join me and other community members on a last hurrah through Reforged Eden, you can sign up to Patreon, Twitch, or YouTube channel membership. Any tier gets you access to these servers as a big thank you for your above and beyond support of me and the channel. All the details are on my Discord. So head on over there, check out the welcome channel for all the info on how to join and how to access the servers. Server admins and myself have got lots of events planned for this season as well. So come along and join in on the fun and the action. Now, as this is the last Reforge Eden 1 series that I'm probably going to be doing, it's time to break with all convention of play. And it's time to break bad. That's right. So in this series, I won't be trading legitimately. I won't be looking to be the Polaris's errand boy. I won't be working with the SAS or for them. No. I'll be working for me, and only me. And it's time that this galaxy pays me back for everything they have done to me. It's time to take what is mine. So our story starts, like any other, hurtling towards the planet in an escape pod, for no conceivable reason. This appears to be a desert planet, and is as tradition on the Spanish channel here. It's night time. So, that's a good omen. I'm going to take that as a positive. Bye, escape pod. Thanks? Okay, so it's minus 10, and I'm already starting to freeze to death. Good. Looks like we have a thermal regulator, though. That's nice. And a atmospheric condenser. Oh, lovely. And only five oxygen bottles and two energy bars. Well, well, well. Looks like somebody's designing this to kill us. Okay, well, first of all, we got some silicon. We got some copper. That's lovely. We could do with some iron, and then we'll be all set. Um, let's grab these resources here. I can turn my flashlight on as well. That would help. That's some copper. That's some copper. And there's a level. Lovely. Isn't that easy? Okay, so we're going to need to unlock a portable constructor pretty much straight away. Let's see if we can do that. Send a misc portable constructor. Bingo. And we need three, or I think it might be three or five iron to build a portable constructor. All of this looks like copper and silicon at the moment, including the deposits, so that's not particularly helpful. Let's um, head over here. Oh, be careful when you're on a non-breathable planet with very limited oxygen. Sprinting consumes oxygen like crazy. So although it's mind-numbingly boring and a lot slower, just run at normal speed. Yeah. <laughs> or, you know, you're going to run out of air. Um, looks like we're going to need, we are definitely going to need these, these plain rocks as well for crushed stone. Although I suppose we'll get some of that if we dig out these deposits. Okay. 
This planet is called Cherie. And full disclosure, Cherie is a test planet. So it's not quite ready yet. And I'm not sure it ever will be with Revian and Vermilion working full time now on Reforged Eden 2. But still, I want to give it a go before maybe it's lost to time or, you know, we end up playing Reforged Eden 2 when it comes out. And Reforged Eden 1 is mothboard and not really updated anymore. So here we go. Cherie, everybody. So somebody's already done some digging over here and no box found. So maybe we'll get lucky if I can remember where the box is on this particular wreck. I thought it was here, but it is clearly not. Okay. Um, <laughs> I can see why this previous person here gave up on this. It's just wasting time, wasting time, wasting time. There's got to be a box. There's always a box. There is always a box. Always a box. Right? Oh my gosh. There's always a box? Maybe there's not a box. Maybe there's... There is no box. Crap. Okay. So there's no box. Or if there is, it's incredibly well hidden. Uh, and not obvious. Okay. Well then, let's move on and find one that has a box. There's plenty around here after all. Ah! Iron. Perfect. Damaged helm station, wreckages, wreckages, wreckages. Lovely. Oh look! And some talent. Marvellous. <laughs> Excellent. Well, we should be able to get all the food, at least, that we need from those peasants. And hopefully this looks like it's been dug up already. There's the box. Oh, there's some spoiled foods and detox, detox kit in there. Um, oh, I'm sprinting. I'm sprinting out of habit. I'm sprinting, which is stupid. Okay, so we do need actually the silicon and copper as well, if we're going to actually make any use of anything on this planet. So let's go ahead and dig that up as we run past it. Let's go ahead and get some iron so we can start producing some stuff. Now, one thing I am noticing here immediately on this planet, other than, you know, the obvious, is there is absolutely no plant life. Like, Cherie is a desert through and through. And... Um, I'm not seeing any trees whatsoever. So plant fiber is going to be a serious issue. I'm going to use my drone. And this has been dug out a fair bit already. I'm going to use my drone. And we'll dig out some iron here. There's three. That should be... No, we need five for that. Get a couple more then. And that should be able to get us our portable constructor. There we go. And let's go ahead and get another atmospheric condenser while we're at it. Because we're probably going to need more than one atmospheric condenser to get the oxygen that we require. After all, we do need to be making more oxygen than we're using, ideally. And keep in mind that these atmospheric condensers use, use one cycle to produce water um, rather than an oxygen bottle. So um, we do need a way of fueling this thing, however. So uh, if we can either find a POI that has some fuel we can steal, perhaps... Or plant fiber we can turn into biofuel. Then we should be good. Okay, so hopefully that's enough iron. 41. That should get us going a little bit at least anyway. Um, right. Where is everything? There's a wreckage down there. We should probably go and check out the Talon territory. And just you know, take what we need from there. Um, you know, those savages don't need it after all, do they? They don't know what they're doing. Silicon, what have we got so far? 16 silicon, 31 copper, and 38 iron. Let's get a little bit more silicon. Let's check this wreckage out first down here. Do a little bit um, falling with style. There we go. Try and speed this up a little bit. I don't want to use up my oxygen. Now, so when it comes to planets like this, planets with very hostile conditions, non-breathable, probably some temperature variants that will kill me later. It's, um, there's, there's, there should be, there's the box, but I can't seem to get to it. There we go. Ah, three bottles of oxygen. Yes. Nice. Okay. There's another wreckage. 
damage conversation. Um, there's no wreckage there and there. It should be um, re every resource that you need on this planet somewhere. So there should be iron, copper, silicon, promethean, and there should be plant fiber and crushed stone. Crushed stone is obvious. Then you get them from plain rocks or just digging through the ground. Plant fiber, in this case, is the one that is not obvious. Game or the, the design of this planet is very generous initially with the um, iron, copper, and silicon by placing those three deposits in the area you start with, plus with a bunch of wrecks and stuff that you can salvage from. Plant fiber. You can't really do much without it. So that's the real kicker here. And with an ever ticking clock of you're running out of oxygen, by the way, that's pretty serious because the first fuel you can make. Is biofuel which requires plant fiber <laughs> so <laughs> hmm yeah um okay so here's the damage comm station it's actually used for story missions on planets that have the story this is a planet that does not have the story mission so we'll ignore that and move on okay now when you're trying to find said resource that is super rare and you know potentially life-threatening um, the best thing to do is to look through different biomes. In the top right corner, we can see here that this is the large dune biome. And there's no plant fiber here. If there was, we would have come across it already. There isn't any. Um, so, we need to find a different biome. And possibly, in that different biome, will be plant fiber. But, it's not a guarantee. Kind of like there being a box in this wreck. It's not a guarantee, but, um, you know, it should turn out. Well, at least hope for the best anyway. All right, so there's a wreckage up there. Let's go get that. And on the way, we'll grab this rock here. And then we should stop and see if we can build ourselves a little hover bike that's going to make this a hell of a lot easier. And if we do head into Talon territory... We must be defend, able to defend ourselves as well. But uh, ammunition also requires plant fiber. <laughs> Nitrocellulose, yes. <laughs> so, yeah. If we're going to go and have a fight with a Talon, maybe we should wait until we actually find plant fiber. Although I suspect the Talon will have the plant fiber we need. A bit of a chicken in the egg situation. Where either we, you know, fight the Talon without um, ammunition first. I mean, this thing does have a defense mode on it. So we could potentially do that. There's the box. Ah, food. Lovely. Food is another issue with only two. Oh, come on. Let me out. Let me out. Okay. I think that's it then. That is all the wrecks. Okay, good. Let's get this thing down. And we got two portable uh, atmospheric condensers, but obviously no way of powering them. So, mobile constructor, portable constructor, whatever you want to call it. Let's chuck all the resources in here and see if we can produce a bike. Needs a hover bike construction kit, which requires carbon substrate. Damn. Carbon substrate requires. Guess what? <laughs> Plant fibers. <laughs> have we got enough stuff already? No, I haven't got anything. Um, okay. Ooh, righty then. Well, we'll pick that all back up then. <laughs> um, because the most guaranteed way of probably getting plant fibers is to head off into Talon territory and raid their farms, which hopefully will have plant fiber planted there right um, the other option is to find another biome there's some mountains over there they might have plant fiber on them but it's a gamble I feel like the talon is, is a better gamble you know they have they have farms I mean we'll check them out if they don't have farms maybe they'll have a trader maybe we can do trading of some sorts I don't know what but we'll see Okay, my I'm at 464 of 600 as well, so I'm pretty full. Uh, but 
a little bit more silicon on the way probably wouldn't hurt. So there's going to be plenty of opportunities for that, I think. Okay, so food is about to run out. Oxygen's looking at 83 and my health is at 150. My stats aren't looking particularly great. Mm, yeah, it's pretty bad. Various time on these is uh, 85, so there you go first. 281 for the pinned meat. So have a couple of these, and I'm going to use a bandage, and I'm going to pop an oxygen in. And that really hasn't made much of a difference at all. <laughs> this planet is not messing about. It is not messing about. Okay, this is a serious... Because you've got... you got The clock is against you. With the oxygen. You can't run because of the oxygen. I mean, you can, but you're going to die a lot quicker, if you know what I mean. Um, and on top of that, you know, you've got... Environmental factors as well. Okay, whatever. Yeah, so that's just telling me that the story is not available on this planet again. Revian does that a lot because people don't read, like me. So let's head into Talon territory. Picking up some silicon rocks on the way. Now it's not far, but we've got to make it all the way into the middle here. Don't forget before we find any kind of structures. And ping the map here. Yep, Grand Tordanada. So we're just going to head sort of northeast by east and see what we find. Hopefully, we'll not run out of oxygen. I gotta say that the tessellation on the ground texture here is really nice, really good. It's just a shame about the character model ruining everything. <laughs> you look at the ground; yeah, the ground tessellation is really nice. The, the surface textures they look really good and and quite realistic and high detailed. And then you see the blob of the player. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's like... It's like putting a cartoon over a photorealistic image. Hey, look, some talon. Right, we won't attack just yet. Um, They shouldn't attack us. Well, I'm assuming they won't attack us, because uh, we should be neutral with them, right? New faction discovered the talon. Yeah, neutral. Okay. Good clearly don't know who I am or what I'm here to do. So let's keep it that way as long as we can. And then when we no longer need the Talon, then we can remove the Talon. I used to be able to get across distances like this reasonably quickly using the little sprint jump bunny hop technique, but they've since pretty much made that useless or, or impossible to do. Because as soon as you jump, you go back down to normal walking speed. So you hit sprint that split second, which uses up more oxygen. Um, and you get no no quicker. Which is a shame. I enjoyed my bunny hop. But there we go. I guess we'll just have to resign ourselves to a slow meander across the desert. Which I suppose is somewhat realistic. It reminds me of Arrakis. I'm just glad there aren't giant space worms <laughs> chasing me. Or I'd have to do a little sand walk across uh, across the desert here, and that would take even longer. Okay, we have some Talon stuff on our detector. Finally, about 500 meters away. Oh good, some radiated fog is rolling in. That's going to help things. Yep. That's great. That's wonderful. Okay, so they have a guard post. That's a giant baluster. Not great. Pretty powerful if you get hit by one of those. Won't kill you instantly, but might take a leg off, you know? Uh, also, pretty devastating to any vehicles as well. Certainly ones that are unshielded and made of paper. So, yeah. Let's try not to get in the way of that thing too much. Here we go. Hello, Talon. Leather farm, settlement, leather farm. Another guard post. Here's to be it. Oh, no, and a hut. All right. See what the leather farm's got here. Ooh, reach level five. Marvellous. Hello. Oh, nice Ignodons. Hi. You would like... You buy fruit. And you sell leather. They have no fruit for you. <laughs> Wheat. Mm. Not kind of not what I'm really looking for at the moment. Um, 
Let's try the main settlement. See if they've got any plant fiber. Something like that. I suspect if not, then... Well, this has got an admin core, so there's no destroying this. But we may be able to destroy the huts and stuff around it. And they're made of wood, so salvaging that could give us plant fiber if we salvage the blocks. Hello. Right, you can... Interesting. Right, so you will buy canned meat for 206. Okay. Good to know. I really want to sell my only food, though. Damn, this radiation sucks. And you will buy... Oh, interesting. You sell cobalt and titanium ore. Well, that is intriguing. Useful to know. Must remember that. Maybe these guys are useful to keep around, at least for the time being. Hmm. We have a little bit of loot here. Ah, here we go. Ah, none of this is ready to harvest. Little infant plants. And what are you? So you will buy... Plant protein, herbal leaves, and medicinal growth. And that's about it. You guys are pretty useless though, aren't you? Let's be honest. Oh, hello. You seem primitive to your eyes, Terran, but perhaps it's just what we want you to see. Mm, perhaps. Well. The traders don't really have anything that they want. Okay. Well, damn it. Time is really ticking here. I need to find some plant fiber. That place is useless. I can't even destroy it even if I wanted to. And that place is pretty useless. Apart from the hut that's made out of wood. Interesting choice, making everything out of wood. We're on a planet that has no wood. <laughs> but there we go. All right, talent hut. What does this have? I think most talent... Places, Jesus, this radiation's gonna kill me. I've got some kind of garden or something. Someone's been under this one, look. Bingo, look. Plant fiber, plant fiber, plant fiber, plant fiber. Is there anybody home? I guess not. Somebody's been digging. Oh, maybe that's just the crapper. Hmm? Right, problem. As soon as I pick those plants, these guys are gonna get angry with me. Which means I'm probably in for a bit of a fight. And there are guard posts everywhere. Guard post, guard post. Guard post. Two guard posts right next to each other over there. They're reasonably easy to avoid if I go that way. There's also more stuff up over there and some kind of resource. So we need to go up and around there and check that out. But running running around like this is not working. So let's put the mobile constructor down. And that's it. Okay, because I won't have time to produce oxygen. I'll just be throwing fuel away. Alright, let's pick this plant fiber. I'll just pick, pick everything. They've officially pissed the talent off, but they don't know I'm here, so we'll keep it that way as long as planned as possible. All right, so we need a we need a form of transportation first of all. So let's build a bike, and then let's get some fuel, as much fuel as you can. We we'll worry about weapons and stuff later. Right now, I need a way to produce oxygen, bloody quickly as well. Uh, I've eaten my two snacks. What else can you produce, like? Food wise. Okay, so protein bars. That's good. Bread if we had purified water. Well, the oxygen processors should produce purified water, in fairness. Can I need to salvage this? Protected by an admin core. Wow. This is protected by an admin core? Really? Move or place foreign core to proceed. Possibly what this hole is for is to try and find the core. And uh, clearly couldn't, though. So. Hmm. Alright, we have a hover bike. Bingo. Okay, so we can get the F out of here. And quickly. That's good. Um, now... Oh, we need to find, well, ideally we need to find carbon, some carbon, a graphite uh, deposit. There are eight on this planet. Uh, and we also need to find Promethean for fuel so that we can fuel our oxygen generators. Once this thing is produced, two, 
two? Is that it? Is that all you're going to produce is two? And we're out of plant fibers. 20 plant fibers for... Ouch. Okay. Yikes. Okay, well, um, produce some energy bars then. Yeah. Let me do some more digging here. I wonder if this person was actually kind of close and then just gave up too soon. Nope. No idea where the core is. I thought it might be central to the structure here, but that seems odd. <laughs> there is just no core. But there is a core, because, you know. Yeah. Well, who knows? Alright, let's not dig too much more. Uh oh, I just poked my head over the fence. That could be a death sentence. Um, eat that. Chug that. Oh my god, we're going to run out of oxygen. Um, okay, do you know what? Actually, yeah, just produce that one and then... Come on. Just go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's, what's, what's taking up so much space? Oh my god. Bike that heavy? Hang on, right. We need to, we need to smelt down the... Um, the ores then. Okay. Dirty. All right. So. The um. The ore is heavier than the ingots. So if you're in a position like that where you can't pick everything back up again, because you know you've made a bike or whatever. Just try smelting it all back down to ingots. That should lighten the load. Ah, uh, this is taking too long. I need to go somewhere where there's more plant fiber. Maybe I should be able to take out the guard posts. If I can get close to a guard post, I may be able to destroy the wooden supports. Probably not with this thing, though. It's probably going to require at least a shotgun to blast through the wood. And I can't make shotgun shells. Let's at least un unlock one, shall we? Weapons. Shotgun. Also tools. Mechanical drill. Alright. Can you make a shotgun shells? Nah. See? Nitrocellulose. Requires 32 plant fibers. Reiki. Okay. That's not good. Oof, that was a lot of copper. I may need to put some stuff in the factory here. Alright, there we go. So we managed to pick everything up. Right, now we need to get our bike. And we need to go. Where are we going to go? We need to go up there and check that out. So let's go up there and check that out. Alright, here we go. And we're going to get past all this stuff as quickly as possible. They are going to shoot at me. After all, I picked their plants. That is literally war against the talent, that is. Oh, look at this. Hello. More plant fiber. Let's pick this up. Quick, 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 quick. Quick, before they kill me. Oh, yeah, just get it all, get it all, get it all, get it all. Lovely. Oh, ah, wrong button. <laughs> that was almost a disaster. More plant fiber, more plant fiber, more spice. Good. And here they come. Go, 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 go. Now, there was another structure. Yeah, another hut there. Perfect. That is ideal because we know. I wish this radiated fog would bugger off. Plant fiber. Okay, that was awesome. And the leather farm doesn't have plant fiber, so we can skip that one. There was a resource over here somewhere. Um. I need to get off and ping the old... Oh, no, there we go. Like someone's been here as well. This is as good a place as any to set down and try and get some oxygen out of my um, atmospheric condensers, though. Bing, bang, oh. And bing. Let's put one in there. One in there. And everything else, I guess, can go in here. There's a bunch of plant fiber. Okay. Make me some more biofuel. 
I need I want at least ten, you know? Alright. Um I'm still in town and territory, right? Yeah, so I've got to be careful here because you know, trolls and such. It's nice of whoever this is <laughs> to make all these nice little pre-made hole mining holes for me. <laughs> Thank you. Perks of being on a multiplayer server, I suppose. And on a not very busy planet. Um, you know, obviously only the planets that are much busier is not quite the same. The deposits you'll probably find are already dug out. You're relying on meteorites to come down, maybe. Alright, so this is getting us pure carbon substrate. That's the ticket. We're going to need to chug on another oxygen bottle very, very soon. Each bit of ore that we dig up as well, the talent get even more annoyed with us. It's beautiful. Alright, that gave us one graphite. That's useless. The graphite is useful later, later, later on in game. But, um, pretty much useless for us right now. So, if it comes between carrying everything and deleting stuff, the graphite will be the first to go. Alright, so that, that netted us 51 carbon substrate. Then graphite. There's four fuel. Okay, so there's two more in there. Right, so operation time is 43 minutes. Next product is six, 670 seconds. I don't think I have that sort of time. Oh my god. Source quality 1%. Oh my god. This isn't going to work. This is not going to work. Um, uh, um, can you make water extractors? Yes, you can. Can you make purified water? Water container. Okay. We can get a water extractor, maybe. We fuel that. Maybe it will get us water quicker. But where am I going to put a water extractor on here? I saw some snow peaked mountains. Like, but they were all the way over there. Okay, so we've got 600 seconds. Okay. That's a long time, but maybe we can find a mountain. We need a mountain. Snow cap mountain. Like, maybe over there, or maybe that, a distance. Uh, Alright, we'll find our way back here, it's fine. They look like mountains, but they don't know that they got snow on. Perhaps the poles, we might need to go to the poles. We need to have a look either way. Oh, avoid the talon if we can. Because we keep an eye out for, like, natural sources of plant fire, but we can't necessarily rely on the talent um, to be so generous with their plant fiber. Ooh, 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 speaking of... Ooh, that looks like snow as well. Not a lot, but it, it might just be what we need. That is plant fiber. Bingo. Uh, again, not a lot. Really not a lot. This is not gonna... This is not gonna sustain us either. We really need trees. What we need, we need trees. Is that an animal? <gasps> Leaf cutters! Food! Yes! Okay. Win. Actual creatures as well. Come here. Meat is back on the menu, boys. Alright. I mean, you know, bugger. All right. Leaf cut is dealt with. Uh, a little bit of plant fiber found. Honestly, not a huge amount. Okay. We've got to continue looking. We've got to look for snow. We've got to look for a big patch of snow. And these mountains might be the key to survival here. But they're bloody cold. There's got to be some freaking snow up here. I don't think that little patch back there would have would have actually qualified. I think it was probably just a 
uh, a border of the snow rather than uh, a natural snow you could place water generators in and there goes the light great this is gonna make it harder oh hello that's gonna make it even harder spinning around there's a bigger mountain over there and there's definitely snow on that one over there look i can tell from here okay so confirmed snow is present and i think we can go and is this snow I can't tell. Um, I think we can go and make... It's difficult to tell the snow between... From the sand. Because, I mean, in this light, that, that looks like snow there, doesn't it? <laughs> but it, it's clearly sand. Uh, okay. More of this. Give me more, give me more, give me more. Give me all other things. More plant fiber, more plant fiber. All right, let's get back. Let's build a water extractor. Uh, 15 oxygen left right now. 12 oxygen left right now. Um, where am I going? Okay, that's that's a good landmark because I can see the POI from here, actually. Yep, 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 yep. Talon are not friendly. Well, me feelings mutual. There they are. I hope one of their patrols hasn't spawned on my staff. It was the set up camp in Talon territory is not the most ideal situation. Um, we're down to one oxygen canister. 300 seconds left. Okay. Six more biofuel. Let's get a water collector. I'm going to put one more in here. And one more in here. Well, I'll probably see if we can turn that meat into salami. Let's get a herbal, a couple of herbal tea. That is healing juice. Let's get that. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, we can get... Oh, there's another Talon territory over here. Look. Didn't even see that. We can get a water generator on a snow-capped mountain. Now that's in the green. I can't tell if it's actually snow-capped or not, or whether it was more desert, you know? Uh, we're about to lose light, because that's coming that way, isn't it? The darkness is coming! Make it infinitely more difficult. Okay, so water generator achieved. Or biofuel. Salami. Well, ideally, I'd up, up sticks and move everything over to where there is water. Well, snow, you know? So that we could basically sit there and just generate oxygen uh i don't think i'm going to make it there and back before i run out of air and use this last bottle and that runs out so i'm going to wait the 270 remaining seconds uh, before heading off to try and find some snow and extract some water which i can turn into purified water which i can turn into oxygen <laughs> This planet is an asshole. <laughs> One, two, three more uh, from that bio, that, that plant fiber that I managed to get. But if there's another talent area, there may be some more farms over there that we can raid. Okay. There's also that ancient tower there is part of the quest storyline, but I know it has stuff in it. So the other thing I can do once I have some oxygen, uh, maybe waiting for the water collector to do its thing, is go and raid that for some supplies. I know it has some loot boxes in it, right? But that makes perfect sense in my brain mind. Okay, so we got some meat and herbal teas in case we need to heat ourselves up a little bit. And this stuff heals us, okay? Gives us like 80 health or something, so that's good. <sighs> yeah, I may need to rely on scrounged weapons because the, the, the plant fiber at the moment is too precious to spend on ammo or drill charges you know when you got free drilling with this thing yes it takes forever but it's free uh okay so shame i can't turn like natural stimulants and berries and mushrooms into biofuel it would kind of make sense that you could right okay 177 seconds we got this we can do this it's fine i think Oh, I'm under attack. 
That's why we save a bandage. We're shot out by crossbows. Uh, there's another bandage at least. I need that oxygen. I need to sprint at the moment. That's not good. Alright, so these assholes are shooting me from up on high. They're far away. Um, let's get into cover. Hopefully they'll come closer. Nope, they didn't. They didn't move any closer at all. Alright. Try moving further away then. I don't want to sprint all the way over there. Potentially get into a path of another patrol. And just move over here. Get out of line of sight. And they have to chase me, you know? Chase me, you filthy animals. Uh, 77 oxygen. Did get another bandage. And fried vegetables. Alright, where are they? Camp in my base. Still shooting at me. But they're getting closer. About. Ah, damn it. Well, as long as they don't destroy my own oxygen processors, they're fine. I just need to get up there and kill them. Easier said than done. They just camp in that location now, the cheeky buggers. Alright, fine. We need to get up close and personal because our thing is not in range. Ow. Don't stop moving. Movement is life. Fortunately, they can't lead their shots. Okay, dealt with. Almost out of air. I think I just picked up a repeating crossbow though. Yes, yes I did. And some herbal leaves. And plant protein. Okay, that's good. Um, uh, we're out of air. We're out of air. Did these things work? Yes, one. Oh my gosh, really? And two. Oh, okay, that's all we're going to get, is it? Okay, well, another 700 seconds before the next ones. Yeah, we, we really need to go and deal with the oxygen situation. Okay, uh, give me some more health here, thank you. Uh, take that with me as well. They probably need to go on there because they'll be used first. Bike, let's go find some snow. Um, saw some on a mountain far away. It is a long way away though. Uh, wait, is that snow there? Is that the pole? Yeah, that might actually be closer then. Why is this thing not working? There we go. It was stuck. Yeah, it might actually be better to go onto the poles then. I can see that from here. I don't need to go over mountains and stuff. Oh, but then the Talon villages. Talon villages might have more plant fiber. Uh, I'm in a quandary! Villages or snow, villages or snow, more plant fiber. Let's let's set the ox. Let's set the water generator. Let's set the water generator. And then we'll go check out the village. They may have a home plant fiber. Hopefully I can do all that without running out of oxygen again. Maybe if I get back to camp in time for the next pick of of oxygen to be ready. This is this is tense, man. This is tense. Trying to avoid death on this planet? Gosh. There's the snow right there. We're getting close now. Minus 17. Things are getting chilly. Very chilly. Come on, little hover bike. You can do this. Alright, here we go. Let's hope this water generator actually works on the snow as well, because that's the other thing that can go wrong. Is sure, you're on snow, but. Yes! Let's go. Okay, half of that in there. Two, three. Out, in. Okay, 207. Good. 
50% quality. All right, we'll take it. This is going to work. This is going to work. Okay. Uh, eat a snack. Yeah, eat. Eat, eat. Good boy. Right, okay. South. That way. Chilly. <laughs> Very chilly. I left my freaking regulator back at the base. Uh, that was dumb. Uh, will it warm up? No, it's getting colder. Okay, let's go back to base and get the regulator, otherwise I'm going to freeze to death. Oh, best laid plans, guys. Oh, best laid plans. we still got time because it's still burning through, through, through fuel and it still has another fuel after that. So, um, the plant fiber can wait a little while while we get some water built up. Oxygen is the absolute priority right now. We need a surplus supply of O2. There's a talent patrol. Don't have to piss them off anymore. There's the POI. And there's our little camp. Yeah, we need to do we do need to move this. But right now it's taking so long for it to process the um the oxygen from these things. 556 seconds. Okay. Let's take that with us. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go into the POI. I suspect that will probably have better supplies than what Italian Village can offer right now. It might even have actual fuel packs, right? So, let's just go in. What has the ancient tower got to offer us today? Spiders. Of course. Well, ignore the spiders. Uh, I don't know. It's meat, in it? I'm just conscious of being shot at by crossbowmen right now. Level 5 as well, ouch. Right. Thank you for the meat. Okay, there's plenty more spiders where they came from, but let's just get in here. Um, oh god, it's cold. It is so cold, I can't put my regulator down because I'm in a POI. Damn it. Alright. Warm me up, warm me up, warm me up. Long enough for... Uh, Yeah, temperatures reset. Right. Damn, it's cold. Damn, it's cold, and it's freaking not breathable on this planet. But it sucks. All right, another spider dead. Now, if I remember correctly, you gotta flip that. There we go. Now, in here. Hi. Oh boy. Oh no, they can't go through the blast doors, can they? Because they dumb. Duh. Ow. That hurt. Wow. Okay, sit down. Mushrooms are not the most ideal thing. I've only got five rounds left here, so I need to get headshots. Cannot whiff. Or get hit by these sons of bitches, apparently. Oh shit. Oh shit. Come on. Come on through. Come on through. Because then you can get stuck by this door and I can. I can hit you. Take your time. Take your time. That hit him in the head. Barely did any damage to him. That's more like it. Uh huh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, food. I want food. I want like, you know, real things. Like air. <laughs> no, I'll take bandages. Bandages are alright. Okay. I actually picked up some crossbow bolts there, so we'll reload that. I'm feeling very hungry. Find something to eat. Um, okay. Well, make another one of those. Two of those. Uh, eat the eat the vegetables there. That'll do. Okay. That guy. Dumbass AI. Thank you for being stupid today. Really helps me stay alive. One crossbow bolt left. 
lots of plants. Is wonderful for vegans. Freezing again, but I can put my thermal regulator down here because it's terrain. There's a bad guy. Don't turn around. You're fine, everything's fine, don't turn around. My little pinching in the bum is nothing to do with me be shooting you in said bum. 55 oxygen remaining, this is not good. Again, thank you for being right. I gotta remember not. Don't sprint, don't sprint. I'm gonna die down here, guys. Unless I find by some miracle some oxygen in one of these in vegetable barrels. Um I am dead meat. I am absolutely dead. Oh yay, pentaxid. I know that there's like um an alien container down here though. Yeah, right there, look. It's it's unlikely, but it, it might have oxygen. Come on, just die already. You don't have oxygen, but you do have an EVA boost, which is lovely. Um, and light armor, which is... Lovely. Okay. That's it, isn't it? Oxygen? Nope. Airtight? Nope. Okay. Bye, strange talent person. Sorry, that is serve your slumber. But, you know. I don't actually come here for you. Okay, 19 air remaining. Now we've got to get out of this, get back to my little camp, which is just down the hill, in fairness. It's not far. And get some oxygen in me before I die. Odds of survival? Bloody limited. I think I'm doomed. And this was less fruitful than I thought it might be. Come on. Does this still break or is it... No, okay. Out we go. There's my bike. Did I put it on the ground? No, it's in my bag. Pop it there. Take off. Camp is this way. Zero air. I am out of oxygen. There's my stuff. Please have some oxygen. Please have some oxygen. Doesn't have any oxygen! Oh, God, seriously! Oh. Well. This was a fun series. <laughs> oh, man. I've run out of air. Sorry guys, I tried. I really did. <laughs> Damn it, I tried. Well, the good news is, I have air. <laughs> I really do try and not die on these series. But I know you like death isn't really a penalty in this game. I can just go back and pick my stuff up and carry on. And, you know, I get 150 free oxygen for the for my trouble. But, you know, I do genuinely try, try my hardest. Anyway, there's some good news. Um, Multi-tool. That's always fun. Um, an EVA boost, which is actually pretty amazing at this point in the game. And a lot of food. And seeds and sprouts and stuff. But, you know, this series isn't called Banj the Farmer. It's breaking bad. So, I'm well, stealing most of my food rather than growing it. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, we got a few more bits of meat there, so let's make some more salamis. Now then, we should have, in 30 seconds or so, some oxygen. And I'm going to take that and head north to the water collector and see if I can get some water back here that I can turn into, you know water and then into oxygen ah Christ it's 
sneaky buggers. I need to get out of Talon territory. The problem is now I've got like so much stuff in here. Um, I need two more iron ore as well to make another portable constructor so I can do like a hot swap type deal. Anyway. Um, oxygen? Oh, of course. No, you made water this time, didn't you? Yeah, okay. Um, that's not too bad though because from those two waters I can make nothing because I need three. Son of a bean, we're just going to have to go. Yeah. Screw the O2 condensers here. The real way to get oxygen on this planet is through water and the snow in the north. Everything else is just... Everything else is just hopeless. I mean, you can get... I suppose you could produce... Maybe if you had, like, five oxygen condensers... You can get five bottles at a time. Maybe, you know, I would have survived. But, I don't know, even that. They probably wouldn't have lasted two cycles on those O2 condensers. That's just nuts. Anyway. Yeah, I think the water re water recycler up here. That's going to be the answer. Let's see. Let's see what it's got. Hopefully it's got more than one freaking container by now. At least three. Should be able to produce quite a bit of purified water with that. Oof. Here we go. He has three. Yes, and he's still running. Lovely. 90 seconds left on that one. Maybe we'll wait for the fourth one then. Alright, so I got the water. I am now suffering from hypothermia. So, you know. Everything's fine. Ugh, give me some warmth. Okay. Make as many oxygen canisters as you can. It's got to turn that water into purified and then into oxygen canisters. Yes, one. And that was one, one freaking can, uh, container nailed us like 10 pure oxygen. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. 18 per water container. This is it. This is it. <laughs> That was a freaking elite move, getting that water extractor in. Hell yes. Screw these atmospheric condensers, dudes. That is not the way to do it. Okay, so we do need to go and get more plant fiber, though, in order to run that, or find Promethean where we can put, make some fuel cells uh, so that we can continue running that. And more iron so that I can build another portable constructor and we can move up north to the water collector hold up there but I got an EVA boost so if I find some way of equipping it then we should be good now in terms of equipping it um, I do have a small vessel that I want to bring in a brand new one but I need to unlock 11 devices to do so and at level 8 ah come on give me a freaking break will ya we need to get out of talent territory just one of these assholes turning up as well though it's really weird Usually it's a whole patrol. What? Well, that one. Don't hear them coming either. Look at that oxygen. Yes. Come on. <laughs> oxygen. Shut the front door. Absolutely thriving. All right. So now that little hurdle has been dealt with, um, let's keep that water extractor running and make another 10 of those then. Just keep making oxygen bottles. Seriously. Just keep doing it. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, these guys, I suppose, you know, uh, I'll, I'll let them run until the end and they're going to ditch them, I think. All right. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's move up north and get some iron, get some plant fiber from these guys, move up north, and then we'll start building some stuff and exploring the rest of this planet. All to come in the next episode. But now, I bid thee farewell. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.